Hey, bitches. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are reviewing the April Fool's Day palette from Tarte. As you know, if you follow Tarte at all, their website last year released a palette that looked like this. And then went, <laughs> just kidding. And everybody was like, what the hell was that, Tarte? We want that. That's gorgeous. Make that. Tarte apparently went home and thought about things and came up with this gorgeous thing. Icy Betch. It is so pretty. I had to open it when I first got it. There was a massive, massive mishap with my packaging. I had ordered an eyeshadow single. I've never seen an eyeshadow in that bad a condition. It was everywhere. It was all over everything. Like, I pulled the card out in the media and I'm like, that doesn't look quite right. And I start getting fingerprints from where I'm touching it in the eyeshadow, which is a nice brown shimmery color, sticking to my finger, sticking fingerprints everywhere. So I'm digging through it, and this one they had wrapped individually in pink tissue paper, so no big deal. Um, it was just the outside and I could wipe it down. This thing here has it all over it. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like brown and weird looking and shouldn't be. And of course the top was open, so it had gotten, you know, on the products themselves, which I just wiped down because whatever, they have a lid. What didn't survive, but the eyeshadow palette that I had in there too, because that eyeshadow got up all in the rest of the eyeshadow. Like, oh, it was bad. I was like sad and I'm trying to get it off and it was just making it worse. You know, there's a point where your makeup wipes just won't do it. It was bad and I was sad and crying. I'm not going to, but it was sad. I called Tarte and Tarte was super awesome about it and they were like, I'm like, I have pictures. They're like, no, 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 just give us your item number and we'll refund you some money. I was like, okay, so I figured, you know, they refund me the money for my single that destroyed everything and my other palette that there was no recovery for. I don't really expect them to replace any of the other stuff in there. I wiped it off. I'm going to use it. What the hell? I the refund and it's only for the single. I guess I'm going to have to send them a text message, maybe with pictures, explaining the huge disaster that my palette was. They can have it back. I'll send it back. Not a problem. So enough whining about my experience. So I got this gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Like, oh my god, this is so beautiful. What's cooler than being cool? Me. And then it says it again in French, which would sound even cooler. But I don't speak French. The packaging on this thing is life. Like, oh my god, look at that. Holy crapola. I still have snow outside and ice everywhere. This, this speaks to me. At first I was kind of like, betch. I don't know how I feel about that. But as I'm going along and winter is extending almost to May right now, betch, get the hell out of my yard. <laughs> I did swatch the highlighter. Is that not gorgeous? Everybody's like, what's that huge pan of white? And I'm like, oh my God, it's our highlighter. I hope it's fairy light. Love touch of fairy dust. Highlight, oh my God, let it be a big pan of that. And it's pretty damn close. Highlight porn. That is such a good shade for me. I'm pale as fuck. And now you open it up and inside it looks like that. This little baby is light. Like, oh my God. I love the size. I love the packaging. I love the feel of it. Mm, I love the smell. It's like vanilla-y. Let's swatch this baby for ya. But the back of the sucker is so damn sparkly that I can't freaking read them because... So, first shade is this gorgeous white, white, blue, white almost. So, it's there, it's white. So, the next shade is this beautiful blue with a slight green tint. It is a matte blue. And that baby blends like, oh my god. The next is a navy glitter blue. And these are the type of shadows that when you're swatching them, they're so freaking pigmented. Your fingers, even after you're done swatching them, look like that. They are not fooling around with the pigmentation on the sucker. Next up is this like light denim -y. It's a matte. When you get it on the lid and you get a little blending, it's going to look gorgeous. And then we have an aquamarine mermaid vibes. Now we have this gorgeous greenish 
Look at that. Holy crap, Lola. Baby, I love you. I love shades like that. They look so gorgeous. And we're gonna do the bottom three. I think I'm gonna switch hands. Or we can try what I saw Poplux do on the inside of my hand. <gasps> Then we have navy blue with shimmer in it. It's not a glitter, it's straight up shimmer. Both of those are actually. Both of those are great up. Like, oh my God. These three little pans on the bottom. <sighs> and then last we have one more down there. I think this one might be a matte. Like a very nice deep navy blue matte. That's what it is. And look at how that swatch, like bitch. I am ecstatic about this palette. We're gonna do a look even though my eyes are running and watering like a bitch. It, it's so bad. I'm gonna go to my doctor and say, dude, uh, I can't do my makeup because my, my quality of life is being impacted by this mask. I just put down my concealer because you know what? If this doesn't stay where it's supposed to, I don't care if it's 20 bucks, 24 bucks, whatever bucks, I'm gonna be disappointed. And sometimes, as we all know, chart can be like, Oh, you thought it was amazing, didn't you? Oh, <laughs> bitch, we're gonna find out today. I do think this is gonna be an amazing palette. Since I'm not, you know, an alien, there's no base shade in here for me. There wasn't supposed to be. So I'm gonna take my Too Faced Primed and Poreless and put that all over my eyelid because I'm kind of hoping that this sucker is so drying that it will, you know, help stop some of the issues I'm anticipating I could have today. First thing I'm gonna do, because I'm pansy, is I'm gonna go into this light lilac -y blue and I'm just going to start blending that over here. And if I switch out brushes a lot today, it's not because there's like something terribly wrong with my brush. It's just that if I get any water from my eyes onto this, it has to dry out before you can use it again or you infect your entire eye look. I don't really recommend doing your eyes when you're tearing up like this. Odds are damn good. It's not going to last. Not only is it not going to last, in about an hour, you're gonna look like some crazy person walking around with like blue freaking everywhere up there, but not in a correct spot or anything. So now I'm gonna take this blue here, Aquamarine. Okay, so I'm just doing my crease and outer corner with that shade and building it up. Girl, that baby blends out so good. Look at that. And I love Wayne Goss brushes. Like, holy crap. I do amazing things to just about anything. I'm going to take a clean brush and just sort of diffuse out over here. I'm going to take this very deep matte blue here. And I'm just going to do the very outer corner just so I can use a few more shades for you guys. Okay, so if you see a little bit of patchiness over here where like the color itself is just like not sticking, that's not the brushes, it's not the shadow. That's my freaking eyeballs being a total bitch. But on this side, oh my god, this blended out so freaking pretty. I think I've decided I'm going to use this blue right here. I have glitter glue and I know that I want to see how this looks with glitter glue. So I'm going to do glitter glue on one side and then do glitter glue, not glitter glue on the other side and then go back and do glitter glue. I'm just taking that shade and getting it on my finger. If you love to wear blue jeans, this shade's so for you. And look at no fallout at all, like nothing. So without glitter glue, it builds up to a very nice shimmer. But let's see if we can build it up some more, or I may have to break out some glitter. It's Montana, the middle of nowhere. If I wanna wear glitter, I'm gonna wear glitter. Have you ever like done something really dumb because you're like, I know I'm gonna have a problem, maybe I can fix it with this? Yeah, that was me just now. I used way too much glitter glue. Now the eyeshadow doesn't look too bad, but it does look a little bit clumpy-ish. That was all on me. It's more intense, it is a little more shimmer. It doesn't really build to the foil tone that I was hoping in my heart for, but in the pan, it doesn't look like it was supposed to, but I wanted to make it do it. So I'm just taking a tiny little bit this time and putting it on this lid. 
Uh, if you do have super bad allergies like mine, you really can take some of that NYX Glitter Glue and as you go, even with the mattes, glue it the hell down. And it does help, but be warm, your eyelids are going to feel like terrible. So this is how the other side should have applied. Nice and smooth and pretty and just like on there and foily looking. I just did my eyeshadow. I had so much shadow on my finger. I swiped in my hand and then it looks like a swatch. I'm just going to pick up some of that matte bluey color. Dip in just a tiny bit. Mostly just using the color left on the brush. I'm going to take that matte white and I'm just taking a domed thinner brush. See, look how white that is on the lid. Like that sucker did not swatch worth a damn. You get it on the lid and it's like, hey baby, I'm here for the party. Now I am mixing it in with my blue a little bit. I don't care. So it's not like white, white anymore. It's like got a blue shift to it. Now here's the problem. And I've been thinking about this the whole time I've been doing my look. What color blush do you use with this? So I'm just using a clean brush and just wiggling it right there. So that not very pretty line goes away. And I'm going to use this amazing highlighter over the top of that. That's so freaking pretty. Okay, let's do the under eye area. And I'm just using a very, very tiny brush. And I'm going to go into this very blue, blue. Do an eye line down there. And sort of fill in this little almond right here. My eyes naturally almond shaped. God, these blues are killing me. Look how gorgeous they are. I am going to pick up this like gorgeous, like super vibrant blue glitter right here and just do the middle part of my under eye with that. Oh baby. Okay, I'm gonna do my eyeliner mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and as you can see, I completed my look mostly. I still haven't used the highlighter for my cheeks from this and I'm super excited to do so. Um, I was gone a lot longer than I expected I had a quick dentist appointment today, so now when I smile, there are no gaps. It's just a cosmetic thing that makes me feel a little better. It also causes me to have a little bit of a lisp. If you guys ever want to hear the story of how the hell I ended up having to have a freaking partial, some stuff happened and it just, it was a nightmare for me to be honest. It makes me want to cry because it was scary and painful. Let me know below and we can talk about that. Otherwise, we'll just skip it. Okay, so back to Icy Bitch. Oh, this palette is so pretty. I am in love. But this highlight is gonna be a favorite. It is just gorgeous. It is very shimmery, no glitter. It's just a straight on highlight, which is what I prefer. I'm looking at it and it is super pretty. Let's hit this with some MAC Fix Plus. Oh yeah, oh yeah baby. Can you see me from heaven? Wow, right? It's not blue at all. It's got peaches and roses. It's got a little bit of a color shift to it. Nothing crazy or anything, but the shade itself. Oh my God, I'm dying over it. What do you think of my lipstick shade? Me and my son built this shade using the Anastasia Beverly Hill lip kit thing where you've got like all the shades and you can create your own. And that was so fun. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna do because I'm totally doing this. Um, I love this palette, but so I'm using my, so it's the Rainbow Crystals Liquid Strobe. I believe this is in like Moon Dust. It just blends out super well and I am getting patchy on my inner corners from liquid getting into those whites. And while the other shades are doing great holding up, those ones aren't like going anywhere, but they are are turning funny colors and I don't like that. So now I'm just dipping back in to the highlight. This side is getting something like this side. I love this side. What the hell? I think that's as good as it's gonna get right now. I did have an allergy problem and then when I went and got my partial, your eyes sort of tear up a little bit. I think it did pretty good actually considering. Like I've had other eyeshadows turn to absolute crapola when I've had that happen. Like they immediately 
it's like gone it leaves like an ugly rim and it just looks awful so this actually did really well considering if you have allergy eyes makeup is right now i've been focusing on a more dramatic lip or really bright blushes or other things other than just my eyeshadow and then just doing like a base and some really uh, intensely dark lashes that are waterproof. <laughs> Let's jump into the review of I See Bitch. I love this packaging. Like, oh my God, to die for. So pretty. And it feels nice and sturdy and it looks amazing. These shadows in here are beautiful. I haven't really found one that I was like, man, you suck. So I bought this palette. I have nothing like this in my collection and I didn't buy any of the other blue palettes that came out recently because for 24 bucks, this is amazing. The um, shimmers in here and glitters are to die for. Look at that, girl. The mattes blend out beautifully. I didn't have any trouble that I can think of with them. Um, the biggest problem I was having is while I was applying, if I wasn't very careful and if I like, because these are so intense, it's like leaving a spot there. Let's talk about this highlighter. This is absolutely stunning. I don't notice it getting ashy looking or anything on me, but I'm so pale. I don't even know that I would notice. Um, I would love to hear from you if you have dark skin, what you think of these highlights because they, to me, are gorgeous and I think that they would look beautiful on pretty much everybody. I've seen people on Instagram with very, very dark skin. Oh my God, slaying it with these shades. Let me know what you think. I love this palette. Like I said, it's $24. Tarte brought it out. It was an April Fool's joke last year. They brought it out like two days before April Fool's this year. No joke. Um, it's up. And I think they did an excellent job. I know it isn't like exactly like the one that they did for April Fool's joke, but why would they do that? That just seems silly to me. I mean, if you did it as a joke, you probably didn't put that much time and effort into it. This, on the other hand, somebody put a ton of time and effort into because this baby is gorgeous. I'm so happy I got this. If you got it, let me know what you thought. If you didn't get it, you know, let me know why. I know some of you hate Tarte because, well, and I know some of your reasons, but if you're in the color, and I know who you are, I honestly do think for 24 bucks, you will love this because it's gorgeous and the shades in here are beautiful. Bye, betches. God, I hate saying that. I feel like a total idiot.